Hi, I'm Mark, and today I have another brilliant thriller for you. It's Red Rabbit by Tom Clancy. Yeah, it's Clancy again. He's a genius. What is this book about? Long before Jack Ryan was elected president of the United States, he worked as a historian in England. As such, he was asked by US and Secret Service to provide a senior Russian defector to English inquiries. In doing so, he comes across a monstrous story. Russian political officials are said to be planning the assassination of the Polish Pope John Paul II. Jack Ryan is drawn more and more into this conflict. Did the defector tell him the truth? How can the assassination be prevented? In the end, not only the life of the Pope is at stake, but the stability of the entire Western world. That was the version without spoilers for the people who don't know the book. But I want to tell you really a little more about the story now, but there will be a lot of spoilers in it. So, in 1982, Pope John Paul II privately issues a letter to the Polish Communist government stating that if they stop their repressing um, of counter-revolutionary movements in Poland, particularly the Solidarność trade union, he will resign from the papacy and return to his hometown. The so-called Warsaw letter was later forwarded to Moscow, which infuriated the director of the State Security Committee, the KGB, Yuri Andropov. He decides to plot the assassination of the Pope, which he believes would revive communism in Eastern Europe, which many see as being in decline. Known only by the number 15882666 for security reasons, the assassin is then singled out as a Turkish Muslim, understood as Mehmet Ali Aksha, who is subsequently eliminated by Bulgarian KDS officer Boris Strokov for denial. The operation was later approved unanimously by the Politburo. Meanwhile, Oleg Zaitsev, a KGB communications officer tasked with sending and receiving encrypted messages to and from KGB stations across Europe, puts together a plan to kill the Pope and is deeply troubled at the prospect of an innocent murder uh, to murder a person for political purposes. He later decides to make contact with well-known CIA station chief Edward Foley, as well as his wife and agent Mary Pett, to defect and then be dragged out of the Soviet Union with his family in exchange for providing information about the assassination, as well as the names by KGB deep penetrations agents in American and other governments. The Foley's instruct Zaitsev to take his family to Budapest in Hungary under the guise of a vacation. They are then said to be assisted by official secret service officers um, stationed in the city because the CIA station there has been compromised. As a result, Jack Ryan, former Marine and CIA liaison to SIS in London, was sent there to represent the agency. Early one morning, the Zaitsevs were charmed from the hotel where they were staying. Accompanied by Ryan, they are then smuggled into Yugoslavia, where they immediately fly to the UK. But then, SIS agents had planted bodies physically identical to the family in their hotel room, which was then set on fire, thus deceiving the KGB. After settling in a safe house outside of Manchester, Zaitsev was originally what he knows or t tells what he knows about the assassination, alarming the SIS and CIA. Ryan was later sent to St. Peter's Square in the Vatican City to accompany official SIS officers on the scene to determine how the attack on the Pope will end and to try to apprehend the shooter. At the Pope's weekly audience, Ryan manages to capture Strokov. However, the Pope is still shot by the real gunman, Aksha. Despite this, the Pope recovers from his wounds. Then it became known that Strokov was executed by the British on British soil in retaliation for the assassination of Soviet defector Georgi Markov four years earlier. The author Tom Clancy is the master of the techno-thriller and he has been at the top of the international bestsellers list with all his novels since his debut The Hunt for Red October. Unfortunately, he died in October 2013. And if you want to know more about exciting books, you can find my next video here in the end screen. I'll see you there. Bis gleich.